What's up, it's your boy Lonnie. Yes, we back for another vlog here today, man. Thank you for tuning back in to one of the best vlog channels on YouTube, man. London's wearing no way. Listen, man, as y'all know, December is a month of giving. So with that being said, man, I've been blessed real good by God in my life and by you guys. So I want to give back to y'all this month. Um, I'm going to be giving away two free pairs of Apple AirPods. Mind you, I know there's been a lot of scams going on in my comments on my main channel and on this channel saying, oh, if you win, you won this, check a telegram. No. I don't have a telegram, so do not respond to those because I know they're going to be on this video trying to say, listen, I'm going to be explaining how you can win two free pairs of Apple AirPods later in the video. So that means you just got to watch the whole video if you want to learn how to win the two free pairs of Apple AirPods. But listen, man, today, y'all, I got something special I'm about to do. As in the last vlog, like I told y'all, I had a P.O. box and I was going to be opening the things that y'all sent me at my P.O. box. So I got a couple things over here today that I'm about to be opening up. And um, yeah, I just wanna see what y'all gave me because I ain't opened them up yet, so yeah. But if you're new to this channel, make sure you smash that like button, man. We're officially on the road to a million. And um, yeah, let's get it, let's go. I wonder what this is. This has gotta be some, some type of clothing or something. Yeah, who's this from? This is from Infinite Layers. So I'm guessing this is a clothing line or something. Okay, okay. Look like this is a jean jacket. This little jean jacket, okay. Oh, shit, she got something on the back. That's hard right there, man. So shout out to Infinite Layers, man, for painting, painting this jacket and sending this to me. I'm definitely gonna throw this on my Instagram and tag you. Um, hopefully you left your Instagram in the box. I appreciate this. This is from Dare and Dream. This also seems like it's some clothing or something. I know I love clothes, man. Let's see. This look like some sweatpants. Okay, I rock with these. I'm rocking with these right here. They say dare. I'm definitely gonna be rocking these. I promise you. These are actually tough though. Shout out to Dare and Dreams. Okay, I see how London Gang is giving it up this year. You know what I'm saying? We almost ended 2024, and I see y'all ending it doing a big one. This is from Faith First Apparel. Oh, I want y'all know where I li live at. See, look, that's you trying to be slick again. You keep trying to see where I live at. It's not happening. I'm sorry. I love you to death. I can't let you know what I mean. Where man falls, God is unwavering. I like that right there. Two dope hats, two dope, dope meanings. Thank you for sending me these hats, man. This is actually dope, man. I like this color. This colorway right here is really dope, man. But I love black. I love black. So this is, I'm gonna be getting a lot more wears out of this one right here. Let's see who this is. Okay, okay, y'all doing y'all big one again. Personal derma roller for hair, beard, skin. I rock with this right here, see? Look, I take hygiene very, very serious, so I appreciate you sending me this, man. Listen, as a whole London gang, I wanna say thank y'all for sending me all of this. I'm definitely gonna get the wares out of it, and if y'all brought y'all Instagrams, which I'm gonna look, and everything, I'm gonna tag y'all on Instagram. Thank you so much. Now, if there's any of y'all that wanna send me a letter, send me anything, if y'all want, the uh, address is on the screen, man. I got a P.O. box, man. Go ahead and send it. I love to receive it, and I would love to unbox it on camera so that you can know that I seen it and that I appreciate it. All right, so, so my stylist, Coach Cheese, is on his way over here. Um, he should be on his way upstairs, actually. He told me he got something for me. I don't know what it is, man. He always trying to, you know, put me in the latest stuff, so I'm excited to see what he's bringing over, and um, yeah, we gonna see what he got for me, man. Hey, what's good, yo? I'm back. Coach Cheese is stylist. Make sure you follow me at Coach Cheese the Stylist on Instagram. You know I'm coming through. Get my bro London right, feel me? You good? Swear. Chillin', chillin'. By the way, he did not do this fit. This is my, I threw this on, that's what I'm saying. Hey, this, hey, this good lounge I'm wear, chillin though. sometimes you gotta feel me. Your hoodie. You know what I'm saying? Playing the Marys to yours, you know. We chillin'. What's this though? Yo, listen, I don't know if y'all know about Vel. Hey, up and pop, I ain't gonna lie, I've been down with Vel for a minute though, like since the jump, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. they just got their flagship store out here in Houston, so if you're out here, make sure you go support, go rock with them boys, for real. So this is Vel hoodie? Yeah, quality, I'm already feeling the quality. Please, sir, already, stand up for this hey, thing. I got on a Yeezy Gap hoodie right now. I'm letting y'all know now. Man. I'm letting y'all know now though, they coming for Yeezy. Let them know what your fit probably, is, bro. Let them know what you got no, on Yeezy. I got a little, you know what I'm saying, some Abizu jeans on, some metallic fives, and just a Yeezy hoodie. I ain't gonna lie, I was grocery shopping and shit like that, so I ain't, I ain't going too crazy. <laughs> My boy's so deep in, you know even going saying? grocery shopping, he deep in, though. Hey, that's, hey, you gotta stay deep in, You find the shorties at the grocery store, I'm trying to H-E-B. At H-E-B. Not, not Kroger. 
H E B or Wegmans if you in New York. They don't know about Wegmans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. This shit. I'm I'm letting y'all know now if you feel the quality, feel the difference, bro. It's and damn near. We talking Yeezy Gap. We talking Bell, man. This mm. quality. So explain is to me. Great. Explain to me about this though. All right, man. Basically, you got like the faded print here, bro. Now I'm saying a nice crop right there. We trying to keep London in the crop hoodies and the crop shirts. Honestly, just so we can show off the jeans like that. We want to stay proportionate. Now I'm saying, like I said, my boy always in the feel me in that weight room getting right. So we making sure from when we cutting these sides, we going crazy. Now what I'm saying. Yeah. Word. Okay. The back of the hoodie, you know what I'm saying? We faded back there. Nice zipper right here. That's, that's something too. It got some money too. It's on. I, I swear to do, yep. Stars on the back there. But mm -hmm. honestly, if you look in, I mean, this ain't no free promo, but for real, Val ain't the, it ain't the priciest thing, but the quality's so crazy, bro. And sure. honestly, you need to be able to walk around and throw something on real quick. Like, you don't always got time to, oh, I'm about to hit sacks, I'm about to do all that. We're not doing all that. Right? Yes. We, I'm saying we just making sure we stay and fly. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's cheap now. It ain't cheap. Hey man, but look, like I always <laughs> tell you, man, you gotta invest into your appearance. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Listen, when you walk into a room, the first thing people was looking at is you. They trying to see if your teeth is clean. They trying to see what your appearance look like. So with that being, even with shorties, man, the first thing they gonna look at is probably your shoes and your face. So you need to make sure your face ain't all dirty. You ain't got boogers in your nose. You gotta stay deep in though. We gotta. When I say when I mean deep in, I want you. That's that UTP like lingo right there. Deep in is like you gotta stay on point though. You know what I'm saying? Deep deep in can mean a lot of things. But right now I'm saying you gotta stay on point, man. Fellas and ladies, man. Ladies too, man. Hygiene is very important. I don't want to have to smell the number you. Number one thing, right? There. I do not want to have to smell you. And another thing. I don't judge nobody, but I love a woman that wears perfume. Oh, I don't want, I don't want to, when, when my woman come in the door, she smell like weed. That's a fact. That's a turn, to me, that's a turn off. Yo, fellas, too, like with the with the cologne, bro, you too old to not have a little yes. something in your, I don't care where you go to get it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bring a shorty with you. You know what I'm saying? It's not embarrassing. Y'all can make a date out of it. Bring a shorty with you. Hey, yo, how this smell on me? Feel me how this? Gonna be, yeah. gonna smell good. And I feel like the new year, man, 2024. Not to get off, not to get off topic, but oh, yeah, sure. I feel like the new year, 2024, is all about growth. It is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? In every way, financially, physically, spiritually, and mentally. Most importantly, because if your mental not right, then you won't be right. You know what I'm saying? Because the mind won't, the body won't do what the mind won't tell it. So your mental very, really has to be strong. Even if you gotta take a break, it's all good. You come first. Remember that. I don't care what you do, what job you at. You come first. So everybody need to put their mind first and put their self first because that's how you're going to get to the finish line. If not, you're going to stay, stay there right here on that treadmill. It's not going nowhere though. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather run a marathon than get on the treadmill. See, a lot of us right now is just on that treadmill. We keep doing the same thing. The same thing. We're not going nowhere. Nowhere. Sometimes changes. You know, I'm, I ain't about to get into this preaching because I, I, I can go all day. We're going to have a segment for that book. What's going on with hey, this, brother? I really care about y'all, man, because honestly, you can't level up without for me bettering yourself. You can't take care of nobody else without taking care of yourself first right. at the end of the day. I rock with this, though. But yeah, man, he's going to go crazy. Look, he always going crazy, but he's going to go crazy in this, for me. I rock with this, And bro. like I said, make sure you're investing in that cologne. Definitely. Matter of fact, I would tell y'all what I got on, but I'm not gonna do that. It's nah, do it, do it, do it. I'm, I'm gonna give him one too. I'm about to give him one. Matter of fact, while you doing that, he probably, probably shit on me right now. But listen, <laughs> I got on Cartier cologne, man. You can probably smell it through the year. Now I'm saying this right here, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. You don't gotta say too much. As soon as you walk in the spot, they just going. The nose is you just see the shorty. The nose is just. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta have some of that. He about to get over right now. He about to pull out $500 cologne. Alright, I'm gonna keep but it up. about 150 He listen, about to pull out $500. Listen, listen, I ain't shit on nobody. Right. I'm just telling y'all what I wear. You know what I'm saying? When I walk in the room, people smell me before they see me. And this is fact. And I got two go to's that I go to every single day. I pick one. Sometimes I mix it together. That's a secret. Louis Vuitton Meteor. Smell it. Let me see. I, and I, and I'm, I'm gonna let uh, go to smell it too. Smell it, go. That's. Mm -hmm. That's that's her. Yeah, for sure. That's, that's the one. That's Louis Vuitton Meteor. Now let me tell you about this. Pussy <laughs> magnet. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. This right here, it stays on your skin long. It doesn't just go off. So, so when you go outside, it's still on you. Pussy magnet. I'm telling you, love it. Second one. Hey, we gonna take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna take, we gonna take oh, a picture of right 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 now. Right now. <laughs> hey, I got another one for you. Louis Vuitton Imagination. Mm. Now this right here, this is the everyday 
Yeah, this is the go-to. This is at any, any occasion. This right here. This is any occasion. I'm talking about this. If you're going on date night, or if you're going to the gym, or if you're going anywhere, I'm throwing this on. This right here. I'm talking about you could be down there, way down there in the hallway. He ain't trying to be smelling. Like smell Look, I've been doing this for the past two minutes. He ain't trying ahead, to be smelling. Smell that one. That's the one. I like this one better than that one. Yeah. But you said that's the No, but both, both, but I'm telling you, this is the every any occasion. Ahead, smell smell one, that, bro. bro. That's the one right here. That's the one I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen, man, invest into y'all some good cologne. It don't necessarily got to be these because these are a little pricey. I recommend if you want a price budget, I say like the Chanel is probably like $100, $80 sometime. Mm -hmm. See, these, these is like three, four hundred. But hey, man, it's an investment into you. That's you know what I'm saying? You come first, like I said. So hey, man, it's up to you. I ain't going to be giving out this free game don't now. Tell them, like, even so. It's women out there that really know these products. Yes. So you're going to attract a whole different type of... But I mean, if you got on Zara Cologne, you might... Nothing against Zara. I love Zara. Right. But you know what I'm saying? You just... It's a, it's, it's levels. For me, you're going to... For me, somewhere nice, State 48, something like that. Right. You walk past a shorty, she going to know. Oh, she yeah, going to double that back. Hold on. That's that Louis. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Exactly. For me, pump the brakes, buddy. Sure. I was sure. saying. No, that's true, though. That's facts, <laughs> though. That's facts. But so, yeah, man. Best into you some good cologne, man. That's just fact. Do it. I'm telling you, it's gonna change everything for you. Yo, stop giving them this free game, man. You need to start. Bro, what you mean? Charge, these my people. Charge them for this. Oh, no, nah, these my people. These my family. Listen, without them though, without these people right here watching, I wouldn't be in this. I couldn't. I couldn't live like this. Well, so they, so they come stuff. first. They come first. That's a fact. At That's the end of the day, I'm thinking about starting a um a Discord actually, so that we could all talk as a family, as a unit, and really just politic about everything. And let me know if that's something that y'all interested in. I might do it, you never know, but uh, about to chop it up with my bro, man. I'm gonna get back with y'all in a second. You tell me how you feel about this. What's up? He was saying LA women got Houston women beat. I feel like Houston has some of the most beautiful black women. No, that's a fact. Now, I love all women. Yes. Miami, exotic, mm -hmm. Latina, Mexican, like they got the most exotic women. All right, so how do you feel about the city? New York. That is. I feel like straight back. Like you can I find in New York, you get everything. You get everything. What do we give in LA on on, on even you? What you think? I think I think bougie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah facts. Bougie facts. for sure. Uppity. Uppity. That's what old boy said. Uh, CJ Stroud. He was like, I feel like the women in Houston are fake bougie, and I feel like the women in LA actually got money. And don't get me wrong. I, it's, I, it's a I, lot I of, disagree. It's a lot of women in Houston nah, that, that, that really get money, money though. That get money. Like for real, I know I, I know girls that drive color lens. Nah, that's a, fact. that's a fact. No cap. Though. I'm not agreeing with that. I'm just nah, saying. Come on, I'm not here. Now you're calling me right Personally, now. Personally, hey bro, I got yeah. I got you on this blog right here, bro. Yeah, so I got a question, bro. Me me and Coach East over here and go to we trying to have a debate on what what city got the baddest woman. Miami, LA, New York, or Houston? The baddest. The baddest. Man, it's, it's between, hold on, you said, you said LA, Miami, New York, and Houston, right? Yes. Who are you giving the crown to? Tough question right there. I give it to probably like Miami. Miami? I feel like Miami good though, but I feel like when we talking about like, cause I, like I told him, I love all women. All of all women, black, white, whatever. But yeah. just for black queens, Houston got it. Houston got it. Oh, no, no, it's got bad from us too. But when it comes to like, Yeah. Like saying like Miami type shit. I say like Miami. Miami? I, I, I give it to Miami though for sure. Alright, alright. Yeah, I, I, I got a sneaker city for y'all though. What'd you say? Miami? I said Miami or Atlanta. Miami? Oh, go to say Miami or Atlanta. Hey, I'm gonna say when it comes to. Oh, y'all forgot about Atlanta though! Ooh. We forgot how we love out Atlanta! All right, so let me ask you this: If you had, if you, if you had to reside in one city for the rest of your life, where is gonna be at? But yeah, just, man. just, just on judging women and opportunity. Man, I give it to like, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going for it, Miami. Yeah. Oh my. What you doing? God. What you doing? I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna probably go with, yo. I hate to say it, bro. I'm gonna have to go with. I'm gonna go with New York. Good debate. 
Houston. Yeah, what y'all think? I want to know what y'all think. What city do y'all feel like got the baddest woman? Yeah, it don't got to be out of the options we said. I want to know what city. What city do you live in, and what city or country? Cause I know people. It be people watching I gotta this sleep the city though. Where? It ain't nobody say yet. What's y'all up? ain't ready for this. What up? Toronto. Toronto, Canada. I heard about Toronto. Toronto, Toronto got the bad mm. team. Jamaicans, Haitians. Uh, uh, Trinidadians, all that. You're right, though. Damn, Yo, you're right. Toronto. 24 hours in Toronto. Yo, hey, when he's serious, we supposed to be doing New York first. We need to do a, we need to do a 24 hours in Miami, Hold on. Toronto, what's the, what's the everywhere. Good, what's a good like number for New York? Because I've been trying to go, right, I've been trying man, to, go to New man. York bad. All right, listen. This, this don't want to go, so we need a certain amount of likes. Look, Two thousand likes. We going to New York. Twenty four hours in New York. Nah, you see how you try to change it, bro? bro I got faith in my people. Can we settle on I got, I got faith right, in my right, people. All right, say that. Don't, say don't do that to my people. Don't do that though, gang. Don't do that though. Hey, I don't care if y'all gotta forward this video or something for me, y'all. Two K likes. I'm trying to go to New York, man. Two K likes and we in New York. That's the fashion capital, y'all. Come on, bro. Two thousand likes and we in New York City for twenty four hours or maybe forty eight. Never know. Hey. So what's up to y'all? You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all choose y'all own poison. Make that yeah. happen, man. And no YouTuber is vlogging in Toronto like that. Unless you're from Toronto. Like no you well, nobody from the state. Right nobody from the oh, state. No, you give me an idea now. We might have to go to Toronto. Yo, we might have to. We might have, yeah, we might have to go to Toronto, y'all. We might have we gotta go to Iraq. Montclair Yeah. It's hey. up. Toronto it is. <laughs> Look, I want to say before I start this video, I just want to say thank the man above, which is God that I serve. You know what I'm saying? I want to say also leave y'all with some motivation. Listen, today is the day, not tomorrow. If you if you don't hustle today, you're going to miss out on winning tomorrow. Now, to the action. I know y'all wondering, who is this beautiful, you know what I'm saying, do a little 360 for him. Let, let him see all that, you know what I mean? Beautiful young lady to the right of me. So, this is like my day one friend slash slash slash, you know, little team. From my hometown, but she's from she's in Atlanta right now. She just flew in just to see me today, and um, I'm gonna let her introduce herself. Let her know who you is. I'm Ace. Let her know where to find you at social media, Instagram, all that. The real guap baby on Instagram. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. She acting a little shy out of this camera. She wasn't just <laughs> acting like this. I ain't gonna lie. She was over here going crazy, loud, and laughing. I was. I now she wanna act shy when she on this camera. The but real, look, now. look, the real guap baby on Facebook. No, not Facebook. On Instagram. 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 The Instagram. real guap baby. Hey man, make sure I go follow her right now, man. She a part the of the real guap baby. G U W O P baby. Yeah. Go follow her right now, man. But look. I ain't gonna lie, they don't even know how long we've been knowing each other. 10 plus years. We've been knowing each other 10 plus years, and she finally just. Since we were young. She finally <laughs> just, just decided to just pull up on. Why you took so long, though? What's up with that? I don't know. Why you took so long? I be busy. You be busy. I be busy too, but look, people make time for what they want, right? You're right. All right then, so don't, don't let this happen again. <laughs> it better not be this long again. But uh, yeah, man, we vibing this shit, man. We've been. Taking a whole bunch of shots. Obviously, you can see the 1942 right here. We done had a bunch of eat good eats and all that. Got my boy Cannon in the cut, too. Man, we can't forget Cannon over here. You know what I'm saying? We cannot forget Cannon. We can't forget Cannon over here, man. He makes sure we safe at all times and make sure, you know, we just good. <laughs> got a chance to get in to any bowling alleys at all. It was crazy, man. We went to like three different bowling alleys and everything. I ain't getting one. I ain't gonna lie. I just ended up going to sleep. So now I'm picking up where I left. You know, she's still over here. You know what I mean? God damn. I, ain't, I don't even think y'all know she was tatted up like this, though. I don't even think y'all know she was tatted up. But a matter of fact, stand up so they can really see. She got like every rapper tattoo. This is crazy. God damn. Lauren Hill, DMX, Tupac, <laughs> Nipsey. I got a question too for you. Mm -hmm. So why did you become a stripper though? I did it to um, make some money. So what I did was start stripping. Mm -hmm. That's what I did. Do you enjoy it? No. 
Huh? So what's the, you got kids though, right? Yeah, I got two kids. Two kids. Um, at the end of the day, it feed the kids and it pay the bills, but it's um it's tiring. It's a lot. Yeah. The brain. Not something that you're really trying to like make a career for a for other. No, it's basically something you get in it, you run up as much money as you possibly can, and then you open up a business and yeah. So like, like what's the downfall of stripping though? Like you feel like, you know what I'm saying? Since you feel like you say you don't enjoy it or anything. I feel like it's, below, it's not long hours, but the hours, like having to go to work at night. And then like when you have children, you have to be up early in the morning, regardless of what time you get off of work. So basically you're just making a sacrifice for your kids, bro. For, this ain't something you really want to even do. No. <laughs> Interesting. So what's your support system look like? Um, I don't have no family in Atlanta, so basically I just, I have nannies and it's expensive. So they come and they help me and my children. Hearing that and just hearing like how, how much you sacrificing is crazy, you know what I'm saying? We never know what these moms be going through, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, we got to show love to these single moms that's out here hustling for their kids, you know what I'm saying? Don't judge a book by its cover, you yeah, know what I'm saying? I look a hot man. I mean, you honestly look good, though. What you mean? Something else? You know what, what you got on? My hair looks crazy. It's not how I usually look. Sheesh. Do, do, a little, do a little walk around real quick. I'm going to walk with you. I didn't walk around. I'm going to run around. You said a run around, run around then. I'm going to talk about my bubble butt. I mean, shit, nothing wrong with no bubble butt. It ain't, but shit, to, to some of these people on the internet. What you mean? Wait a minute, y'all. So y'all telling me, y'all telling me y'all don't like this? Hold on. No, you gonna find somebody that's gonna find like, it's not, it's, it's too much. Or, the butt is perfect shape. I feel like it's is it, is it soft time. though? Good as hell. Let me see. Nah, that should definitely move for real. God damn. Hey, I don't know. Hey, so what we on for the day though? I'm saying, what you trying to do? Last night, we didn't get to finish what we were doing. So what you saying now? You ready? I mean, I'm always ready if you ready. What? Oh, you demanding. <laughs> That's what you want for her? Let's go. Shit, f*** this up, man. What's up, y'all? It's your boy London. Listen, man, if you want to see what happens next, the explicit version, the unedited, the unblurred version, you got to follow me on Patreon. Follow me on Patreon right now, gang. The link is in the description and it's in the comments right now, y'all. If y'all want to see what's really going on, the content that I can't put on YouTube, you know what I'm saying? Because some stuff is just too explicit and too wild and demon time for YouTube. But that's why I got this Patreon right here. So listen, man, subscribe to the Patreon. The link is in the description right now and in the comments. If you want to see what she just did and what we was doing, follow the Patreon, man. Let's get it. Let's go, gang. Hey y'all, man. Y'all follow me on Snapchat right now, man. At London's Way Number One. Follow me on Snapchat, y'all. I'm gonna be doing a lot of giveaways. I just, I just recently just did an AirPod giveaway. I gave away two pairs of Apple AirPods. All you gotta do is literally just follow me on Snapchat at London's Way Number One. Send me your address, and I'm gonna send you the uh, AirPods if I pick you. You know what I'm saying? I'm picking two random people. I'm doing two giveaways, two random giveaways every week. I'm going to do one cash app giveaway and I'm going to do some sort of like item, like a MacBook, a camera. You know what I'm saying? I want to help y'all. You know what I'm saying? December is all about giving and December is all about just, you know, helping out. So I want to help y'all out by giving back to y'all. So make sure y'all go follow me on Snapchat at London's Way Number One. And the only way that you can win is you have to follow me and put the uh, notification button on. So it's London's Way Number one, go follow me right now, man, if you want to win free cash and free, uh, you know, uh, electronics as well. So, yeah, man, follow me at London's Way Number One. I'm going to place it on the screen right here so you know this is the Snapchat, not any other Snapchat. The Snapchat that I'm about to post right now, this is the Snapchat, not another one. So don't say, oh, London, uh, somebody else is trying to be you. Is this you? No, I only have one Snapchat, which is London's Way Number One. I'm going to post it in the next slide. Let's get it.